You want to buy pain? It goes back to like the opposite theory. The whales want to shake you out because there's not enough supply. And if you can see white candles here, white candle here, it's the bottom. But man, you have to have the stones to buy it. You really, really do. And that's just kind of like how Rainbow Theory works. When you start ranging up and down between the bulls and the bears, these colors matter. I know it looks like not appetizing, but if you're trying to trade like red and green stuff, it's really hard to know this is a strong topped out move. But if I go and layer in the colors, the at a glance, you can tell, hey, this is hot, 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 hot. And the bulls are weakening and rotating out of a move. They're going, building up into the strongest colors that they can't sustain anymore. These pinks, there's little descriptions here. And then they rotate out of it and they take their, their foot off the gas and they hand it to the bears. The bears get a taste and then it goes back. Um, it's just how, how the net, how it works. You've at all times, you've got people trying to liquidate each other. And these are big dudes who are more sophisticated than you would believe. So, oh yeah. Does it fail sometimes? For sure. Let me show you Luna. Buying white, you can't do it blind. You definitely can't. Everything can can get you. Uh, there is the Luna print. This was, I believe, a 99% down draw. So you have to be careful. And it also depends on like the asset that you're trading. But like this is a gross example. Rain uh, not Rainbow Trends. Like trading views calculating is 100% loss. Like it, there's not even decibels to do this. But in general, the you're not going to see stuff blow out on the higher caps. Like you will these lower cap coins, especially if there's like fraud involved. That's what all that is. And that's what all these red triangles are showing you are well prints getting the hell out of dodge. But like a really, really good example of this, I, get, I, I tell people because they want to know like, hey, what's the what's the secret sauce, the secret settings? The truth is find your whales that you like and find their colors. There are some people that trade Zcash really, really, really well. It's an awful asset probably. I trade it all the time when it's doing the right setups because Zcash whales do the same paint every single time. So... We can we can we can talk awful about Zcash. We can talk awful about Litecoin, Cardano, whatever. You get your right paint setups with the whales that you like to follow. It's you're you're at an advantage to the rest of the market, and it's it's less gambling at that point. It's more on you killing it. So, what I wanted to this is a good example, and I hate to rag on Litecoin. I don't really, but the uh, the point is is Litecoin is one of the oldest crypto projects of all time. It's one of the most boring whales of all time. They scream at volatility. They don't like volatility. They don't like big moves. Um, they don't blow out these reversion bands. They don't print white candles way, way deep into here and then pop back, right? These are your machine learning ones. Look how tight they are to this. So this is like the entire history of H4 Litecoin. And then on the opposite side of the machine learning band. So if you don't know, the green and the red are the standard reversion bands, and then the the blue and the orange are the reverse are the machine learning ones that learn the asset over time. And frankly, I lost a lot of brain cells uh, actually coding that. That that physically hurt. But we have machine learning working on trading view, and uh, I'm probably not going to touch it again because it's it's really hard to make it code learn but anyway the point is and i'm di just digressing here litecoin wills so that makes sense right litecoin wills are old school they're stubborn it's a crypto that has very very little volatility rarely ever 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 will you see litecoin do a double digit percent day right now think in your head what's a litecoin well move like well let's also look at a shib well or a doge let's look at doge a doge well doge wells are violent Doge whales are degen. Doge whales leverage and don't give a F. They go crazy, right? So can you see the difference of like Litecoin and, and Doge trading in the same market conditions? These are way bigger moves. These are way more violent paint. And look, we don't even see the reversion band. Look how high this thing is. It's because this tool knows 
hey, I went back and studied the data in the entire timeline of Doge. This is a violent, these are some violent, violent dudes. You look at Litecoin, it's way back down here because the tools know it's not, it's not a violent dude. And that's just know your wells, figure out the paint and you can adjust accordingly so like when you say like oh is it does it always work to buy whites or does it always work to sell pinks no but you can see litecoin can't really sustain a pink move it's just not the way the whales trade litecoin but doge whales doge whales can sustain they're more degen it's just how it goes also you're at the kind of the you're kind of uh at the mercy of also kind of like Elon, because Elon likes this one, so it's really, really reactive. You're not going to see a random Elon start randomly tweeting about like Litecoin or Cardano and stuff like that, right? So that's kind of how I, I try to explain it to people, is take Litecoin whale chart, apply rainbow theory to it. But anyway, that's that's my point, is colors and whales and stuff like that. And it, it sounds crazy when you first talk about it, but like if you want to try to figure out at a glance where these whales are at, you know, that's where it is. And in general, like, I don't long pinks ever as a rule. This is FOMO territory. This is when this is when the whales bait you in and they get you to try to buy an asset that's way, way overbought. Um, they want to rip your hands out of it. They want to make you capitulate. That's just the nature of how they do it. Because nobody wanted Doge at seven, seven cents. They didn't. But now that Doge is up at like 15 cents, people really, really want to want it. And it's already up 150%. So caveat to that is, is even if you got like a little bit of profit, there's headroom here for this to bleed out and it can destroy you. Because you got to remember, it's like you can have 10,000% up and kill it all year. But it's only a single 100% drawdown to get you back to zero and like you're, you're penniless. So keep in mind especially with like the market conditions we're in, like we're going into the happening, we're going into the big raging bull market. Like that's really, you don't want to get liquidated. So just know you're playing with fire um, when you play with fire.